All right, kids, uh, here is the example we didn't get to in class, finding the equation of a tangent line, a line tangent at the point 2, 2 for the cissoid of Diocles. Uh, just a little bit of history, Diocles was the founder of Jif peanut butter, and he is famous for making this curve for one of his machine patents to make the creamy version of Jif peanut butter. So just so you know where this comes from. Okay, so we're talking about implicit differentiation. So if we take a look at our function up here, we've got um, y squared. And again, we could solve this for y, but we'd have that pesky squared, so we get two equations. We're going to use implicit differentiation and solve this differential equation. We're going to dy dx. So we can leave it as is um, and use the product rule right off the bat. We've got this product of a function of x times a function of y, and then we've got a function of x over on this side. So there's a few options algebraically. If we think about the product rule, we can do that first. Product rule. Okay, so um, the product rule is the derivative of the first. Remember, we're doing this um, in respect to x, like all of our derivatives so far, okay, and just like we practice in class. So the derivative of the first part, so if we take a look at that, is just negative 1 times the regular second part, y squared, plus the regular first part, times the derivative of the second part with respect to x. So again, we have this idea of the chain rule. So decrease uh, the 2 drops down in front, decrease the power by 1 at the inner, so the inner is y, times the derivative of the inner. So we get that d dx of the inner. And here's where we're getting that, um, that term, that implicit differentiation showed us for the first time. Okay, equals, on the other side, we can't forget about what's going on over here. So we do the derivative with respect to x, and we get 3x squared on that other side. So everything works out kind of nice as we'd expect over there. All right, so our, our calculus is done. I mean, we have this d dx term, but this is implicit differentiation. We're solving for this because that's going to tell us our slope of this original function and this curve over here. So we clean this up a little bit. We get negative y squared. If we multiply those um, right here, we get, we don't have any negative symbols. So we get 2y times 4 minus x times this quantity dy dx. So I'm just going to put a square bracket around that, kind of visually see that's the thing I want to try and get by itself. And over here, nothing really happens. So just cleaning up the algebra a little bit, I guess, to help my eyes um, with this process. So like right here is where we want to start getting this dy dx by itself, because uh, this is the slope, and we want it solved explicitly for that slope. So the first step is I'm going to undo uh, the addition and subtraction first before I undo multiplication. So I'm going to keep all of this stuff on this side. So 3 times x squared, and we're adding y squared to both sides. We get that. And now again, I've got this term. It's connected to all this stuff by multiplication, so I'm going to divide both sides by all that stuff. And I'm going to get dy over dx is equal to, this stuff was already on the right-hand side, all over, we're dividing by that stuff. Okay, so you can see we've got this thing solved for dy dx. This is the slope function of that original, um, I, I guess I should be careful with the word function. This is a slope machine um, for this original relationship, and I'm choosing to not use the word function because we can see that this is not a function. It fails a vertical line test. So this calculates the slope of that thing, there we go, um, at any x, y I pick. And again, I need an x, y pair because if I just tell if I just tell this thing in x, I want the slope when x is 2, well, it's got a choice. It's got, it's got two different answers, a slope up there at 2 or a slope down here at 2 when x is 2. So I need both the x and the y. So this thing finds that. So the calculus is done, and this is my differential equation. This thing finds a slope at any x, y pair. 
So let's finish this off. Uh, let's change colors. So that's our calculus step. This thing finds a slope. And we're interested at the point x is 2, y is 2. So I get to find the slope at 2 comma 2. And I get to plug that in, dy dx at 3 times 2 squared plus 2 all over 2 times 2 times 2. It's nice when everything's the same number. So I can string this out. 4, that's 12 plus 4 on the top. This is 2. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8 equals... 16 over 8, which is 2. That is the slope um, at a, of the tangent line when x is equal to 2 and when y is also 2. So this specific point on that cissoid of Diocles. All right, so what we were doing in class, and I suggest you guys all practice this, that's the slope. But I want to know what is the equation of a line tangent to it and just kind of verify my answer. So my preference is using the equation y equals mx plus b. We know at the point of interest the y is 2, the x is 2, and we found our slope to be 2. So the only thing we don't know is the y-intercept, and we go through and solve this for b. So b is equal to negative 2. That means our tangent line is y equals slope is 2 x minus 2. This is the equation of tangent line. So let's see if this all makes sense. Go back to our original picture. And if this truly is the equation of a line tangent at that point, well, let me graph this line. So I'd go down 2, that's my y-intercept, and I would go up 2 over 1. Up 2 over 1. Up 2 over 1. Well, that's good news because it kisses right there. And we can see that that tangent appears to, uh, that that tangent line, or the equation of this line, appears to be the correct tangent for that. By the way, that history lesson was fake.